Hi and welcome to Group OT. Today we will be making peanut butter cookies and they only require three ingredients. First, remember to print out the blue lined paper and go ahead and copy down this list. First, we will need to wash our hands. We'll wash our hands with soap and warm water. And then, number two, we will preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Number three, we will measure out and scoop our peanut butter into the bowl. Number four, we'll measure out our sugar and then add that to the bowl. Number five, we'll crack our egg, add it to the bowl. Number six, we will mix all of our ingredients together. Number seven, we will form our cookies. Number eight, we will bake them in the oven that we preheated at the beginning. Nine, we'll clean up. And then ten, we will eat and enjoy our cookies. So go ahead and take this time to wash our hands, and that way we can cross it off of our list. So these are the ingredients that we will need. Feel free to pause the video at this time while you go and collect all of your ingredients and have them ready to go. Once we have all of our ingredients, we are going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Now we can cross number two, oven, off of our list. Next, we will have to measure our peanut butter. Remember to use this time to practice opening the container using both hands. And then I have my one cup measurement ready to go and I'm going to use a separate spoon to fill up the cup. Once I have my cup filled up, I'm going to add it to the large mixing bowl. It might be a little messy, so make sure you have a napkin or paper towel nearby to wipe your hands. All right, now we can cross number three, peanut butter, off. Since we opened our peanut butter, now it's time to close it back up and then we can move on to measuring our next ingredient. So the next ingredient is sugar and right now I'm going to grab a, a separate spoon, a, a new one that's clean, and I will use that to measure the sugar. And I'll use the same cup measurement. That way I have less to wash, but if you have another one you can go ahead and use that too. I'll just go ahead and fill up my cup with sugar. Once I filled it up, we can go ahead and add it to our bowl. And then we'll cross number four off of our list. Next on our list is the egg. So cracking an egg can be kind of hard, so parents, you can help your child with this one. Um, just go ahead and crack it straight into the bowl. And then cross it off of our list. Next on the list, we have to mix all of our ingredients together. Now, this part might take a little bit of time, but just keep working at it until all of your ingredients are fully combined. And then we can cross off number six, mix off of our list. To form our cookies, use one tablespoon to measure them. I have a cookie scoop, so I'm just going to use that instead. And then we'll want to place them about an inch apart on a cookie sheet. I have mine lined with parchment paper, but you don't have to use it. It just helps for an easier cleanup at the end. You can also use aluminum foil to line your cookie sheet. You've formed your cookies. Flatten them using a fork uh, with, in a kind of cross hatch pattern. I found that dipping my fork in water between each cookie helps it from sticking to the cookie. And then go ahead and do this for all of the cookies. You can use your other hand to help you press down onto the cookie. All right, and these are what the cookies will look like. And now they are ready to bake.
So use an oven mitt and be very careful because this oven has been preheated so it's very hot. These cookies will bake in the oven for about 10 minutes. When they're all done, we can check off number 8 from the list. Go ahead and clean up. And then finally, go ahead and enjoy your peanut butter cookies. See you next time!